a 750 newton crate rests on a 500 newton cart the coefficient of friction between the crate and cart is 0.3 newton and between the cart and the road is 0.2 if the cart is to be pulled by a force p such that the crate doesn't slip determine the maximum allowable magnitude of p and the corresponding acceleration of cart here you can solve the problem uh, by considering uh, the free body diagram of uh, both the crate and cart first let us consider the free body diagram of a crate so when you are drawing a free body diagram so remember you have to remove all the surface contacts and you have to draw that object separately so this is the crate and its weight is given as 750 newtons so remember always the weight acts vertically downwards through center of gravity so this is the given uh, weight uh, for the crate and if you observe this crate is not able to move in the downward direction why because there is a cart so that means there is a restriction whenever there is a restriction so in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface represent a reaction as it is normal to surface let us consider that one as normal reaction and denote with one so n1 is the normal reaction so when we apply force p so it is able to move in the left hand side direction so that means it will be having acceleration in the left hand side direction in the opposite direction you have to represent the inertia force so inertia force you can represent as ma so here mass is not given weight is given so for that reason w by g into a so w is 750 here so and uh, this is g is 9.81 into a so this is w by g into a which is nothing but inertia so here you have to represent inertia force as it is having contact with the cart so it will be having a frictional force here so in order to represent frictional force first let us draw the free body diagram of uh, uh, the 500 newton crate first so this is the given crate and uh, its uh, magnitude is given as uh, 500 newton so that is nothing but weight here and uh, p is the applied force in this direction as it is not able to move in the upward direction you have to represent one reaction so it will be having a, when p is applied in this direction it will have tendency to move in this direction so acceleration will be in that direction in the opposite direction you have to represent 500 uh, divided by g into a right so when it is moving in this direction it will be having frictional force in the opposite direction f2 so here it is also having contact with 750 newtons so as this is having contact with 750 newtons it is not able to move in the upward direction so in the opposite direction that means in the downward direction you have to represent another force which is nothing but normal reaction n1 so as it is having contact with the 500 750 newton lower surface 750 newton uh, block lower surface when it is moving so it will be having frictional force in the opposite direction so f1 will be here like this so for every action there is equal and opposite reaction uh, that is nothing but newton's third law so you can uh, compare here for the n1 uh, existing here so there will be equal uh, and opposite and collinear force which is existed here which is existing here so here uh, likewise for the frictional force there will be equal amount of frictional force which will be generated in the opposite direction here so here now you can apply equations of equilibrium first i will consider sigma fy equal to zero so that i can find the value of normal reaction so n1 and 750 are the only vertical forces n1 is acting vertically upwards and 750 is acting vertically downwards equal to zero from this i came to know the value of normal reaction is 750 newtons i can find the value of frictional force from this one f1 is equal to mu1 n1 so the coefficient of friction between those two is given as 0.3 into and n1 i got just now that one is 750 so i got 225 newtons when i simplify this one 
So consider sigma fx is equal to 0 through which you can find the acceleration of the system. Sigma fx is equal to 0. When I consider that one, f1 acting along negative x direction, so minus f1 and 750 divided by 9.81 into a which is nothing but inertia force acting in the right hand side direction so it is positive 750 divided by 9.81 into a is equal to 0 so just substitute the value of f1 you got here so minus 225 plus 750 divided by 9.81 into a equal to 0 so simplify this one you will get the value of acceleration so if you simplify you will get 2.943 meter per second square so this is the acceleration i got so this is the free body diagram of the cart so here if i consider the 750 newton and 500 uh, newton blocks as a single unit i can eliminate uh, the frictional force between those two for that reason, instead of applying equations of equilibrium for this one, uh, for uh, making it uh, more simplified, I am considering the free body diagram of uh, 750 Newton and 500 Newton uh, blocks as a single unit. So this is 750 Newton uh, block which is nothing but uh, a crate and this is cart. So these two combined together I am taking as a single unit and I am drawing free body diagram now. So the weight acts vertically downwards through center of gravity 750 plus 500 so 1250 so that is the weight of the system and uh, P is the given force here for the cart it is not able to move in the downward direction so N2 will be in the opposite direction and uh, when I apply force P so it will be able to have acceleration in the left hand side direction so in the opposite direction you have to represent frictional force F2 as well as the inertia force. So here the inertia force is 1250 divided by 9.81 into A. So that is the inertia force there. Uh, no other forces. So first I will find the value of normal reaction. So consider sigma Fy equal to 0. So when I consider sigma Fy equal to 0 and 2 acting vertically upwards. 1250 acting vertically downwards so I can calculate n2 value which is 1250 newtons and uh, let us calculate the frictional force F2 is equal to mu2 into n2 so mu2 is given as 0 0.2 and n2 just now we have calculated 1250 so if you simplify you will get 250 newtons so this is uh, the value of frictional force in order to find the value of P, so let us consider sigma fx is equal to 0. So when I consider sigma fx is equal to 0, I need to consider the horizontal forces present in the system here. So P acting along negative x direction, so minus P, F2 acting along positive x direction and 1250 divided by 9.81 into A, which is nothing but inertia force, that is also acting in positive x direction equal to 0. From this, I can subject it, this equation to P. P is equal to F2 plus 1250 divided by 9.81 into A. Just substitute the values of uh, F2 and uh, A. We got the value of F2 as 250 plus 1250 divided by 9.81 into A into 2.943. So if we simplify, you will get the value of P. So I got that one as 625 Newtons. This is the value of P. Here you can solve this uh, problem. Uh, you can find the value of P by considering this free body diagram also. But when you consider the free body diagram of uh, 500 Newton block or cart separately, what will happen? You are having an additional forces here, N1 and uh, F1 or two additional forces you have to consider here. When you consider these two cart and uh, crate as a single unit, so here now you are not going to consider F1 and N1 here. Why? Because you have considered a single unit. So you have reduced two forces. So going with less number of forces is uh, easy. So that's why I have considered uh, these two as a single unit. Hope you like it. If you like it, click on like button and don't forget to subscribe for getting uh, all the notifications, just click on the bell symbol.